precious yo, it's precious yo, it's precious yo, release and go, I take the flow, and walk you low, it's precious yo, release and go, I take the flow, dip low. Hey everybody, Flippin' Me coming at you, we're at DSK HQ, doing, looking at a couple knives of his, this is the kickstand Tanto, full tie frame lock, watch him put these together by hand, uh, not these ones specifically, a couple of other ones he was doing, uh, also helped him myself on some stuff, uh, beautiful grind, beautiful Tanto, really high definition on these grind lines, very crisp, very clean, um, we have a lot of time, we don't have a lot, <laughs> we don't have a lot of time, but we have a lot of knives, uh, large flipper, now, when you do these flippers, people, you got to realize that there's a geometry and a reason why a bigger flipper is going to be need for a bigger knife. So if that's your gripe, well, just get over it. So there's the first one, kickstand. GF1, Tanto, uh, contoured and dimpled. Look at that, that grind. Almost comes up at a nice uh, angle on both sides. Very symmetric. Looks like a flipper, but it's not. Sorry. These are all brand new people. I'm not trying to mess them up. These all have to be sold. Or all or are sold. So there's that GF1. Here's a GF1 chisel and compound. So here's your dark stone wash, flame anode, and uh, milled sculptured handles. Boom. Is that nightmare grind that everybody loves? Like I said, these are all brand new, so I'm not trying to mess with these too much. These are the uh, VX VXCs. This one's a dark stone wash, chisel ground. Nice milp. Every one is different. It's kind of like a, a snowflake, except for it doesn't snow in uh, Phoenix, so it's about the closest you can get to that. <laughs> now, here's this Tanto. I love this one. Dark stone wash, milled, dimpled, contrasting flats to the to the actual grind, matching, very aggressive tanto. Another kickstand, very similar. You got two tone finish. Left the stone wash on the inside of the fuller. And that one flips beautifully. Now, people, remember when you buy these knives, or any knife from Dan in the re near future, they will all have an SOE pouch. I'll show that in a second. Here's one of his VXCs with a uh, compound grind, chisel, stone wash, flame, uh, it's called shoulder stops. Look at that. Ooh, that's got a strong detent. I'll have to wipe that off now. <laughs> and then if you want to see the pouches, people, it comes in a nice Cryptek coated pouch. Velcro on both sides, DSK patch. You have your card. Card and birth certificate. Remember, though, if you do change your knife, you mod it by yourself or through a maker, Dan, uh, the warranty does go out the window. So let's cover this one, the Mini GF. This is the one everybody's seeing online right now. Rob Thomas, Raindrop Stainless Damascus, hand contoured titanium dimpled. There is no sharp edges on this handle whatsoever. Custom clip. Because the GF1s are smaller, he's starting to make his own clips for them. Fits really well in the pocket, and a custom tie bead as well. Now the secret behind this one is that it is on bearings. This is the first knife on bearings from Dan. You can get these from him if you want. I would say get your order in. You have till the 31st to get a custom order in with him. And then his books are closed, and I will not know when they will open back up. So if you don't get one in now, you're just going to have to fight tooth and nail for when he starts pushing these out one by one on the open market or at shows. Show that flipping again. Fits in the pocket nice. Take this. 
Sarah and Forge out. How much are these gonna go for, Dan? This is uh, this a setup like this would cost about two grand. So to understand that these would cost two grand, obviously the kickstands, the GF ones, and the uh, VXCs will cost various. Uh, you have to check his website out for those. But these ones are hand contoured, so you have to notice that there's gonna be a lot more um, purchase for your hand. No sharp corners. You have this beautiful Damascus, obviously that'd be an upgrade, so I'm pretty sure he's going to come out with ones with bearings without the Damascus. And uh, believe me, the Damascus itself was a bitch and a half to source because quarter inch Damascus is not very easy to find, especially stainless raindrop. If you guys have any questions, uh, you, I'll put Dan's information below. I'll also put his Facebook and his uh, Instagram. So you can contact him there. He's generally really quick about answering uh, questions. Realize he also does this from home, and he has another. He has a job. He also works as well. So uh, if he doesn't get back to you guys, don't throw a bitch fit. If you decide to take a picture of a knife and try to get him to make it, refer back to my video about fucking wannabe knife designers. All right, people. You guys stay safe. Stay up.